Well, it was a rape and murder that sent fear all across the OU and Norman community because of the brutal nature of the crime. And for so long, it went unsolved. Well, 10 years after the 1996 murder of OU ballerina Julie Buskin, a man was convicted. And today, that man, Anthony Sanchez, was put to death. Two News anchor Aaron Christie was in McAllister for his execution. Julie Buskin had just taken a friend to the airport. She'd finished her last semester at OU, was going to pack up, head home to Arkansas, and enroll in graduate school. Instead, she was abducted, raped, and shot to death at a lake outside of Norman. It wasn't until years later Anthony Sanchez was linked to the case. He had been arrested for burglary and had to submit DNA, which connected him to Buskin. The execution of Anthony Sanchez has been complete. The official time of death is 10:19 a.m. Buskin's family did not attend the execution and have remained largely out of the public eye since it happened. Attorney General Gettner Drummond said he talked to her family many times over the last several months and issued a brief statement on their behalf. Julie um, was murdered 26 years, nine months, and one day ago. And the family has found closure and peace. We uh, pray that God will grant that on a continuing basis. Thank you. Sanchez's aunt was the only family member present. While the state allows five media witnesses whose names are drawn from a hat, the Associated Press is always allowed to witness. Reporter Sean Murphy has witnessed many. Anthony Sanchez's last words were, quote, I'm innocent. I didn't kill nobody. He then uh, disparaged his former attorneys and said that they were the worst lawyers ever in the state of Oklahoma. <clears throat> he thanked his supporters, uh, Jeff Hood and death penalty action. <clears throat> and then he said, quote, I appreciate all the respect from all the people around the world. Jeff Hood was by his side and read prayer. He's a preacher to many death row inmates and against capital punishment. Sanchez claims that his dad was Buskin's killer and that his dad confessed prior to committing suicide last year. But prosecutors, the courts, and the AG say his DNA was at the crime scene, as well as other solid evidence. He did not ask for clemency from the Pardon and Parole Board. Sanchez told the AP earlier this year that he believed the DNA was fabricated and that he didn't request clemency because he didn't think Governor Stitt would accept it. In McAllister, Aaron Christie, 2 News, Oklahoma. There was a short delay in the execution process while the state awaited word from the U.S. Supreme Court. Sanchez's attorney asked for a stay to look over new evidence, but it was denied.